Hello everyone, welcome to Edutarian and a warm good afternoon to you all. So today we are going to see yet another interesting, it's not a scheme, it's not a report. Actually, I just wanted to give you a snapshot of the India, how it has championed Sri Anna, which has been taken as a global millet movement last year, owing to the fact that 2023 was established or declared as the International Year of Millets. Now, where all this started? See, Karnataka is the one that has prompted Indian government to focus on millets and, you know, declare uh, one specific year for millets exclusively. After that, India has uh, requested UN and yes, they have come forward the FAO. They have declared 2023 as the International Year of Millets. Now, what is all this uh, uh, importance or the, uh, you know, why everyone is was revolving around millets no millets are those they they fall under cereals okay the class falls under cereals which is uh, a classification of the uh, field crops based on the type of food grains that they are producing or the type of food they are producing and cereals are those that produce starchy grains okay under this one of the category is the millets now when we talk about these millets these are one of those crops that can grow in harsh conditions as well with a meager amount of water they can be raised in any kind of situation and one more important point here is when we talk about this paddy wheat etc though they are also cereals the kind of nutrition that we get in millets along with the uh, regular starch that is carbohydrates millets are very rich in various other micronutrients as well one thing this is for the health purpose now when we talk about the environment friendly millets how they are environment friendly see when we talk about uh, this uh, paddy crop or the wheat crop the straw that it generates after uh, we harvest the produce that is a grain that generally it can't be fed to the animals as well because uh, because of its rough nature and also high silica content in crops like paddy that it has to be treated very thoroughly only then it can be fed to the animals otherwise majority of the farmers what they do they generally try to burn the entire field down now in millets the you know the most beauty of this millets is even the straw can also be used as fodder for the animals with very uh, less uh, you know energy less work that can be put into it on the other hand the grains as i've said earlier also they are highly nutritious along with the regular carbohydrates they also contain lots of uh, micronutrients in them because of which they form a very important part of our dietary foods okay so this is little bit about the millets now where do we stand where does india stand when it comes to millets now india is number one in production of millets in the world it accounts for 20 percent of the total production world's production 20 percent of the world's total production of millets and if you look at asia more than 80 percent it accounts for the total production of millets in asia uh, in Asia, in, in the world, if you look at other countries, India, Nigeria, okay, and China, these are the three countries which have very good amount of, uh, uh, you know, land dedicated, agriculture uh, land dedicated for the millets. Now, when we talk about this millet production, Abhi Boldia, you know, very recently, the Indian government, it has released the data related to the millet production. And when we talk about that millet production, it is for 2022-23. Okay, 5th December ko release hua tha. 5th December 2023 data has been released. And accordingly, the production, millet production of India stands at 17.32 million tons. Very, very important. Now, which are those states which are contributing to this millet production in India? Number one stands is Rajasthan with 5673,000 tons. Okay. And second position, it is UP 
and two three six eight thousand tons its production is and third is karnataka okay with two zero three two zero zero tons okay so these are those three states which are contributing hugely to the millet production of india and these are the latest details associated with the millet production in india now where does all this data would be helpful in the regular current affairs because along with this data there's a lot of various government initiatives that has been taken up by the government of india in order to promote millets in india all those would be helpful as part of your general current uh, awareness under government initiatives for phase one of your uh, beta rbi or nabad examination and it is also helpful for your esa ard current affairs for phase one and phase two of the regulatory bodies examination okay now these are my credentials you can go through it later as well yes now why i have picked this uh, uh, this particular topic what was the context what was the context behind selecting this particular topic for today's session see we as i have told you 2023 has been declared as the international year of millets right and very recently the closing ceremony was held by various organizations one of those important organizations that has held the closing ceremony of the international year of millets is the none other than the food and agriculture organization so this was done on 29th march 2024 as part of which the dg of fao hu dong yu he has called for investments to tap into the potential of millets which are highly nutrient and resilient alternative to staple grains and that can play a crucial role in, role in ensuring global food security one more important point i forgot to add when we talk about environment friendly here millets can be even grown on the residual moisture that is kisi farmer ne paddy crop le liya hai and paddy it requires lot of water right so lot of water would be already there in that soil so after harvest of the paddy the farmer can go for millets even without giving a single irrigation at least for the minor millets again in millets there are two types for minor millets without even giving any irrigation the farmer can reap good harvest out of that okay so such is the uh, uh, you know importance of millets in our uh, dietary this thing as well as the environment friendly and one more point uh, since we are talking about millets millets and millets so there are various numerous millets that uh, types of millets that are grown in the world of which major, majorly nine kinds of millets are predominantly grown in india okay that includes sorghum millet proso millet bajra millet that is a pearl millet it's also called as fox tail millet finger millet barnyard millet little millet kodo millet these are the nine kinds of millets main ek sheet aapko release kar dungi on the telegram channel as well because i forgot to add them here okay yes now Q was addressing the closing ceremony for the International Year of Millets at FAO's headquarters in Rome, and even from India also, uh, dignitaries went there to attend this event, the closing ceremony of the International Year of Millets, celebrated by the FAO. And there was another news, another uh, you know news article that highlighted uh, all about Sri Anna. that is very recently it was from uh, feb not even much april only this april news only millet mission kerala they have launched a project in august 2023 to set up millet farms across the state with many farms being established at a local body level whatever the local millets that are being grown in their area even if they are in minute quantity they started supporting them as part of which a model millet farm was raised in orkateri in kozi uh, kolikod which is one of its kind with all the nine millets types of millets that are grown on this farm so this made to the headlines very recently and moreover why they had they are growing all the nine kinds all the nine types of millets that are generally available or grown in different parts of india 
to set up it as a center for education and research on millets and its cultivation to help to uh, to help the farmers to create an awareness among the farmers to provide information and also to do research on these millets they have come up with this one of its kind uh, center in kolikod that is orkateri village now when we talk about this you know uh, what are the various initiatives taken by india see one millets they are also called as in india we call them as shri anna it can encompasses a group of small grain cereals renowned for their remarkable nutritional profile and adaptability this we have already discussed recognizing their potential the united nations general assembly at india's initiative declared 2023 as the international year of millets that's true along with that the government of india has been taking significant steps towards actively promoting millets 2023 declared as the international year of millets 30 shri anna based proposals with an outlay of 800 crores were approved in india more than 500 startups and 350 fpos farmer producer organizations were established world food india organized with key focus on millets in india while it was uh, uh, you know holding the, as a chair for g20 loans amounting to 90.8 crores uh, this much has been sanctioned for sri anna processing units now let's have a look at what are the various programs or initiatives or the schemes that have been launched exclusively for the promotion of millets in india okay the first one the production linked incentive scheme for food processing industry this was launched for food processing industry under which whatever the amount residual amount that is the um, Uh, what else is the budgetary outlay that has been allocated for the production linked incentive scheme for food processing industry from that only a part of the amount has been allocated for the millet based products now this was this has approved 30 shri anna based proposals with an outlay of 800 crores along with that the sub mission on nutri cereals under the national food security mission that is nfsm sub mission on nutri uh, cereals millet was also launched now when we talk about this production link the pli scheme for food processing industry it was approved by our cabinet on 31st march 2021 with an outlay of 10900 crores and 2021 uh, 22 se leke 2026 27 tak tha i mean hai ye program and they focused this particular scheme focused on three major components one incentivizing manufacturing in four major food product segments yahi question aaya tha exam mein they had asked you which of the following uh, uh, you know major food product segment was not incentivized under the this pli scheme nabard mein aaya tha ye question ready to cook or ready to eat processed food and vegetables marine products and mozzarella cheese promoting innovative or organic products of the smes supporting branding and marketing abroad for indian brands kai bar aisa hota hai ki they are very good in the indian markets but if they want to you know venture out for in on, into the international market they lack proper branding or the kind of marketing help is it all have been provided here okay and sorry yes as i said earlier also pli scheme for millet based products was launched in 2022 23 with an outlay of 800 crores utilizing those savings or the budgetary allocations that have been allocated for the the pli scheme for food processing industry so isi mein se they have carved out a you can say a component sort of or a a, a separate Uh, you can say sub scheme sort of for millet based products important from which scheme this has been made up okay now another loans amounting to uh, 90.8 crores have been sanctioned for shri anna processing units exclusively under the pm formalization of micro food processing enterprises scheme for the fostering and entrepreneurship in the sector 
Now this PM formalization of micro processing food processing enterprises scheme was launched by the government of India majorly to focus on those micro food processing units which are you know running they do not have proper uh, uh, you know registration or something locally they, they were doing so such industries they wanted to formalize or bring them into the mainstream market for which this particular scheme was launched which focuses on one district one product pro scheme of the ministry of food and processing industries support for the common infrastructure because if that happens obviously that will lead to higher production where again we can venture into the other markets support to the SAGs, FPOs, cooperatives and individual micro food enterpri enterprises that is the entrepreneurs seed capital for self help groups wherever they want to go for other they want to go for any food processing unit okay for that capital would be provided to them under this particular program training and research support kai bar aisa hota hai they want to go but they don't have any proper training or idea how to take it forward that also would be given support for capacity building that is again training branding and marketing support so all this along with that they'll be provided with the branding and marketing support as well to the entrepreneurs in continuation to this 25 seed hubs have been established to ensure availability of quality seed of the millets to the farmers and more than 500 startups and 350 fpos have been established and are operational in the millet ecosystem as of now this is the latest data that has been released by the government now along with that various other initiatives are, have also been taken one of that is the Indian Institute of Millets Research which is in Hyderabad it has been designated as a global center of excellence that will share best practices and technologies related to millets what are the various initiatives that can be taken in growing them what are the best practices that can be adopted so that maximum output can be taken out of that and what what you know how the st straw can be used in feeding the animals all those various things that can be done they have uh, created this export promotion forum dedicated to promoting millets internationally was also established so that our presence in the international market can be strengthened along with that making a way paving way for the exports of the millet based products and usme bhi humne ek aur uh, earlier also we have seen that scheme no, that um, uh, PLI scheme mein, on the same lines inauguration of the regional research center for Bajra in Rajasthan it is committed to advancing research and innovation in millet sector so one proof that we are still working out on the uh, advancing how we are committed to advancing research and innovation is example that they have quoted is the establishment of regional research center for Bajra that was established in Rajasthan okay now how the global promotion of Sri Anna was done by India see d during the G20 presidency in India whatever the events that were conducted they made sure that the event uh, uh, holders whichever the ministry or whichever the uh, organization that is that was uh, uh, doing or uh, you know conducting that organizing that event they made sure that the food items that was served and others they all were in they included uh, they made sure that millet based food products were included into the menu world food india was organized wherein the major focus was or they have shed more light on Sri Anna only its importance how it is important in the daily diets how it is important on the environment in the environmental point of view all that they have highlighted Asian India Millet Festival Indonesia and Delhi were conducted to create awareness among the people as well on to understanding the importance of millets in their daily diets. Global Millet Sri Anna conference was conducted in New Delhi. Various virtual trade fairs were also conducted in order to create a market in the international area. Millet Culinary Car Carnival was also conducted so as to uh, you know create awareness among the people that lots of uh, food items can be prepared using these millets international trade events were conducted in germany south korea usa showcasing millet based food products so that we can create a market there for our indian millet based food products 
ओके एज वी हैव सीन ग्लोबल मिलिट्री एन कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज हेल्ड इन मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री आई ए आर ए पूसा न्यू डेली वेर इन इट वॉज इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन रेजिंग अवेयरनेस अबाउट द मिलेट्स इन वेरियस वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज द पीपल वर्चुअल ट्रेड फेज वर्क फॉर मिलेट्स वर एस्टैब्लिश एंड हियर द वन ऑफ द मेजर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हेल्प वॉज अपेडा अपेडा ऑलरेडी वर्चुअल ट्रेड फेज नो आर कंडक्टेड बाई अपेडा इन वेरियस कंट्रीज फॉर आर प्रोडक्ट सो दे हैव इंक्लूडेड मिलेट्स एज वेल इन दैट The Indian government has launched a first of its kind Millets Experience Center in collaboration with the National Agriculture Cooperative Marketing Federation of India, that is the NAFED, which is first of its kind where one can get to see how millets can be grown, all the information, etc. Okay, Millets Experience Center. So now these are some of the initiatives taken by India on the you know national level. and international level in promoting uh, uh, millets as one of the most important diet you know you can say food items in the regular dietary and also how we can make use of these millets and create lots of items interesting food items that can catch the attention of even the youth and the kids as well okay so this is all from my end today related to the shri anna the journey of india how it has taken from the national to the global level important thoda sa uh, you, you you can get questions on this in the form of mcqs and also you can use this data in uh, these facts and figures in substantiating your descriptive answers as well now the coming to the answers to the homework questions that were asked yesterday world's largest health insurance pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana nodal agency is this was a question asked it is national health authority national level it is a national health authority and at the state level state health authorities that have been established by the respective states they will take they will take care of the uh, related to the implementation of this scheme pm jav benefits are applicable for the pensioners of the central government employees falls because pensioners agar pensioners hai matlab already they must have you know it payers and all that they would be so pension mil raha so they'll not be uh, uh, they, they can't especially central government employees they have their own scheme why do they'll uh, they have to avail this so it is false today's question what is india's total production of shri anna or the millets for the year 2022 23 this we have discussed i have given you and which are those states that have uh, contributed to this that also we have discussed india accounts for 50% of the total shri anna production of the world is it true or false <coughs> now you have to tell me this also i have discussed so this is all from my end Yes, now the forum is open for your queries, questions, any suggestions. Otherwise, I'll wind up. Okay. since i'm not getting any queries i'm winding up the session if you have any suggestions or in if you want me to take any scheme or any report on uh, youtube you can suggest those schemes and reports to me okay so homework questions you can answer me in the comment section as well otherwise anyways we'll be discussing in the class tomorrow so see you all tomorrow then okay take care bye bye have a great day ahead Please take good care of yourself. Bye bye.